right, crop changing time. Now I carry everything on the bus. So you can do this on land, on water, don't matter. So, one more thing is a rag. Just in case you don't want to cut yourself. Now, get the prop in a good position so you can loosen up the nut on the back. Broke it free, don't take it all the way off. Just give it about a quarter inch, three eighths, half inch space there. Prop puller makes life a lot easier. Especially if you're changing out props, testing, doing whatever you need to. This will fit almost, I think, over any prop that they make. Now, easy way to do this. Hand tight. That's all you need. Hand tight. Mallet on the back. Should have loosened it up a little. Hand tight it again. Give another whack, but on the other side now. This has been sitting for almost six months, so it's going to be hard to get off. Now you'll know when you can crack it because it'll give off a different ring, a different pitch. So it broke free. Take this off. I leave the nut on so that way you don't mess up the threads on this end, on the back end here. Take off this prop. This is the, the weedless prop. This is almost all I use. I'll use the nine inch if I'm going a long ways, but um, props, they're only one way to go. You can't put them on backwards because they just don't fit that way. You do have the keyway. Slot that up, push it up as far forward as you can. Lock washer prop nut. Uh, no difference in prop nuts if it's short or long. The long ones are just meant to fit inside the prop for racing props and performance props that I guess Swamp Burner has. I didn't know they had performance props, but others say they do. So I'm putting the eight and a half on because I'm doing some eight and a half testing. Tighten that down as much as you want. And then you're good to go. Now, if you lose a prop nut, as long as you get this up on the shaft and wedged, you will be able to make it home. You can ride one of these without a prop nut. As long as you get this to ride up on the shaft where it needs to, and you are able to get it to stay, then it will stay there. So if you don't have a prop nut, or say you've been running and you notice that your prop, nuts, your prop nut is no longer there, but you're still able to run it, this prop should never come off. Unless maybe you hit something really hard and you break it free, but if you're just running out in open water, this prop should stay on here. Now, you may have the weedless spacer here. If you have the weedless spacer, then you're gonna have to get that off to use your prop puller. This prop puller rides right in the center there. You can't make this bigger because then it rides up onto the prop and you're not going to get a good pull and force there. So, easy way to use the prop puller, just do as I did right there, and you should do it easy. All right, see you next time. Here's the list. Look at that, see how you can support the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.